Uh, I'm reviewing a bunch of toys and I look like a big baby reviewing little dolls and um, pretty much I am stressed. I am tired. I wish it could be Christmas break already because honestly, I'm back in school and I'm tired. Ka-chow! <laughs> In this video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Actually, something people have been suggesting is for me to review the Hawaiian K, Hawaiian Woody, and Hawaiian Jesse. But you might be wondering, where's Hawaiian K? I mean, Hawaiian Buzz. He's in this box. And I kind of regret getting him. You know why? Because unfortunately, as rare as he is and as crazy as this might sound... He cost me a whopping 300 bucks. Uh, yeah, a bit of regret, but considering it's so rare, I, I wanted to do this for you guys, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get to it. Let's see if we can... Is that bandaging? Uh, I don't know, but this came from Japan, if I'm not mistaken. A seller in Japan, so yeah. Oh boy. Let's see. I mean, it seems like too small of a box for a Buzz Lightyear, but apparently it's... New and sealed, so we'll see about that. All right, let's see here. Tear this paper open so we can see El Ka. Oh, uh, yeah, that's definitely a Buzz Lightyear. I'm not going to show the company that sold me this because I'm not promoting them in either way or got paid to. So, yeah, let's put that off to the side. Continue tearing this down. Imagine if it was shipped to me in just a piece of plastic. And I kind of wanted to return it, but the seller didn't accept returns, despite me opening a case with eBay. So, oh well. Might as well review it now. Here he is. Hawaiian K Lightyear from Toys R Us. That's why he's so rare. Because he's from Toys R Us and, you know, Toys R Us is kind of kind of not a thing anymore, you know? So. Alrighty. So, we got El K. But my question is, is he going to speak English or Japanese and does he work? <gasps> he works. Please, don't. Please, I'm just hoping that music isn't copyrighted. Please, for the love of Toy Story, please. Just, please don't be copyrighted. He speaks freaking Spanish. Orale, mira el co, míralo. As seen in Hawaiian Vacation, Buzz Lightyear talking action figure. What a small box. I thought it would have been bigger, to be honest. Try me. I talk over 20 sayings and music. Includes glow in the dark stick. Nice. Forky would be proud because he loves sticks. Ain't that right, Forky? Next up, a guided nature hike. Hey, way I. Best vacation ever. Toy Story as seen in Hawaiian Vacation. Buzz Lightyear talking action figure. And there's the back of the pot. The pot. The box. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm surprised they're not promoting Woody or Jesse on the back of the packaging. That's a first. It's made by Thinkway Toys. Because, you know, <laughs> Mattel could never. But, yeah. And the bottom seems to have the instructions and the battery replacement information. Yeah, who doesn't know how to replace the batteries on a Buzz Lightyear? It's just a simple take the wing pad off or the wing jet pack and then access the back panel with the screwdriver. It's just like in the movie. But uh, yeah, let me get a few pictures of this, this guy sealed because I want to make it worth it because, you know, I paid a little too much for this guy and then we'll get to the unboxing. All right, without further ado, let's unbox the cut and then we'll take a look at Jesse and Buzz. <laughs> Jesse and Buzz. Oh yeah, this is totally Buzz, am I right? Oh, and his hat fell. Fail! Alrighty, let's see here. I'm gonna snip the tape. Open them up. Come on, cuh. Cooperate with me. 
I'm debating whether I should... Oh, shoot. I almost got myself. I'm debating if I should keep the box or not. Because the figure is rare and whatnot. But i um, not sure. I'll think about it. I already tore through it. See? Look at that. All right. Let's put that box off to the side. And now we got Buzz right here. It's just a matter of snipping off the pieces with your trusty pair of scissors. You don't really need to go through the effort of undoing those just snap it off with some good scissors and you'll get easy access to the parts you need. And just snip at the bottom right there. Oh, let's see if I can actually get through this. Come on. No, it's, not, it's, not, it's not cooperating. Just gotta grab a different angle and twist it up. Maybe. Come on. Oh boy, this is not cooperating with me now, is it? <sighs> Goodness me, this is... Ah, this is hell. This is hell. Is it stuck on the backpack? <sighs> I'm just gonna snip that off. <sighs> yeah, that is stuck, it's stuck on the backpack back there. Just gotta snip it off. Who invented this system? that plastic off yeah we still got the glow stick stuck inside there but i think it's a simple it's just a simple rubber band holding it imagine they put a bunch of zip ties on this thing that would have been insane uh obviously you got to charge this up it's not battery powered or anything but i dare say that the freaking glow stick probably doesn't even work anymore since it's been in a package for so long Probably sun affected if it was in the garage. From the heat, it probably just burned out at this point. Oh boy. I just gotta snap these into place. Yeah, that, that one's giving me a bit of trouble. Boy, oh boy, Buzz, you're giving me trouble. Add this one to the PCP failed videos list. In comparison, a size comparison, here's the Thinkway Signature Collection utility belt buzz light here it's the same height just its faces look a little bit different for some reason it's probably just the eye coloring or yeah uh, it's just the eye positioning but yeah it's the same face if i'm not mistaken everything about it is the same of course except the details that are exclusive to the signature collection one like the hands that are single you know you can articulate each finger individually whereas right here they're all stuck on together you can't move the thumb or anything. I mean, not even on the signature one, you were able to move the thumb. But on here, see, you can move any fingers that you would want. And unfortunately, this one doesn't have the wrist communicator. But of course, your authentic signature one does. You know what would be quite difficult to get as well? It's probably those... That time forgot Toy Story figures. There was a Woody and a Buzz, if I'm not mistaken. Those are probably impossible to find on eBay at a decent price. So yeah, there's a laser, three buttons. They all do the same thing. What is that strange noise? So he moves like here. But speak Spanish. I protect the galaxy from the threat of boredom. The threat of boredom. That's new. <laughs> um, it's not, None of these buttons are specific for Spanish. You just press whichever, whichever one and the Spanish phrases will just come at you at random. Stand back. The music is about to start. I'm just hoping that music isn't copyrighted. Yeah, he says a lot of phrases from the signature collection buzz, which is what I'm noticing right now. Hey, way I. Ah. 
Yeah, one thing I should tell you guys about these figures is that all of the accessories are removable. They're just attached with a piece of Velcro, but I'm not going to take them off because then it's a mess and a hassle to put them back on. But yeah, even Woody and Jesse, all the clothing pieces they have on, they can come off. None of the pieces are permanently attached. And same with the ones that were released for Disney Store from this um, collection of Hawaiian Vacation. Because Disney Store went had a go at it and they released their own collection for it as well. And the Disney Store versions, same thing. All the accessories would come off. But the Disney Store ones, I wasn't a fan of because did they, not, they didn't have special phrases. It was just the stock standard phrases. They didn't have anything special or music, nothing, which was kind of boring. He's got that hole right there. I'm guessing it's to hold the lay. I think I just broke that. Yeah. That's, that's the only thing I'm guessing is that's not meant to come off. Yeah. Oh, it's a little Velcro. Just that this one's ungluing for some reason yeah see this toy's old when did this short come out 2011 wasn't it featured in like cars 2 before cars 2 played in theaters so yeah i mean the helmet closes and everything if i'm not mistaken yeah there you go helmet closes he has cup prepared see stickers are peeling slightly peeling on me there uh what else laser the wings the wings don't light up doesn't talk when the wings go up or anything just kind of like your stock standard buzz lightyear that wouldn't have any articulation pretty much the cheaper version of a signature ver uh, version of buzz lightyear because you would get everything the same just lose a lot of the flagship features like the interactive um toy mode and the the one where you would talk to him and he would respond back the motorized head unit the light up wings um the microphone button the wrist communicator, but the articulation on everything else seems to be exactly the same. Heck, even with the signature collection one, you wouldn't be able to turn his head all the way like I'm doing it right here. Because, you know, it had a mortar. See, this one's free rotating. You could turn it however you want. There's no problem with that. But, you know, perfect example of what I'm trying to say here is, of course, the one we have right here. They only turn 180 Más o menos, yeah, like about 180 degrees. Uh, but yeah, here's the glow stick. I really wish I could test it out, but I doubt it even works. And I kind of am rushing through this video because, boy, I am tired. And after unboxing that Buzz Lightyear, even more. Um, how does this clip on here, though? That's my question. I'm guessing like that. I'm trying to look at the packaging. He's not even holding on to the clip. So how do you even how do you even put this on? What is the point of that clip? Just clip it on like that? No, the fingers the fingers are too thick for the little clip like that. But I'm guessing that's what it would be like. I have no idea. But I do know someone who would prefer this a lot better than Buzz. Forky. Oh, well, he's already decked out for Christmas. Take that off, Forky. Here you go, Forky. Since you like sticks, you can have this. All right, he's taking that away. Honestly, I think it might fit on his hands. See, this was made for Forky. Look at that. He put his little Christmas hat back on. All right, Forky's gone. Anyway, so now let's take a look at Woody and Jesse and hear some of their phrases. Let me just, yeah. Uh, they don't they don't come with these stands. I have to buy these from Walmart, the stands, but they sit quite nicely on the stands, actually. Um, yeah, it's quite difficult reviewing Toy Story figures because of their height. But yeah, let me just set them down right here. Um, I bought these used on eBay. Well, Jesse and Woody, and mine didn't come with this piece right here. I had to get this from a dollar store, but it works just fine. Same color and everything. Same case as Buzz, you know, Velcro. You could take, you can literally take this off and you'll have a stock standard Woody. Look at that. It's just a matter of the phrases. And I, I customize the eyes. I put in like a little white pupil with a white Sharpie. But um, yeah, pull the string. You know, paradise just wouldn't be paradise without you, partner. And you got the Hawaiian phrases. Um, yeah, I yeah, I put my name on the boot. I got to put it on Buzz. All right, folks, let the relax. I know people... Are... Come on. No.
I know people are going to hate me for putting the name on such rare figures, but hey, I'm not looking to resell these. These are for my personal collection. Ain't that right, cuh? Yeah, and fetal lice. We're going to the vacation, fetal lice. Has anyone seen fetal lice? Jesse, it, I think it's your time to come in for the review. No, oh, you continue with your... I can't do a Jesse voice. <laughs> uh, let's hear more of the phrases. Uh, hey, uh, do you have any sunscreen? Uh, UV rays are not good for my plastic. That's perfect. <laughs> hey, howdy, hey! We're in Hawaii! Ha ha ha! Oh, more music. the hat is removable got your woody up here with his normal head yeah so you can place this hat on any other woody any of the accessories really you haven't seen buzz have you so wait did you call me fool i guess not so where do you think we should go for our next vacation colorado hey howdy hey does he say any of the phrases from the signature Woody? I know that one is one of them. It's Hawaii! <sighs> More music. <laughs> Alright, that's enough for Woody. I would have thought he would say, there's a snake in my boot or something like that. Uh, I guess not. So, how you doing? I think that's a signature phrase also. Hey, partner. You got a friend in Yeah, I'm starting to spot a few of them. I missed one earlier. You're my favorite Ah, there we go. Let's talk phrases. Reach for the sky. Yeah, there we go. Howdy, my name's Woody. Well, pull my strength. It's Hawaii. Okay, that's enough. All right, taking a look at Jesse here. Same thing. I colored in the pupils because why not? And this one actually had the lay included. Um, it's attached with Velcro, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, see, there's Velcro right there in the back. Um, same thing with this. It's just a matter of taking off the Velcro and you'll literally have a normal Jesse doll. To prove you all, look at that. She's got the same stuff on, same accessories. She's got the belt and everything. Yeah, it's the same Jesse doll. Put my name on the bottom because why not personalization people um this isn't detachable like buzz so woody's the one that truly can get all of the pieces removed or the accessories jesse and buzz can't get the head pieces removed so i mean why would you want to take off the you know the clothing of these toys you bought them like this for a reason didn't you because if you wanted these toys you specifically wanted them with the Hawaiian decals, or not decals, huh? what am I thinking, Disney cars? You were supposedly buying these for the exclusive clothing line that they got on, but yeah, you want to take them off, like, it's kind of pointless and kind of sus. Anyways, pull the string. Music! I'm just hoping it's not copyrighted. Bold of you to assume I'm a toy. We're just the best of friends. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. Aloha! So what you doing today? Uh, I'm reviewing a bunch of toys, and I look like a big baby reviewing little dolls, and um, pretty much I am stressed, I am tired. I wish it could be Christmas break already, because honestly, I'm back in school and I'm tired. What about you? How's life living in my room? You're just on, on the shelf all day long, literally just bored, aren't you? Because I don't even play with my toys anymore.
because I got no time on me. But maybe I'll play with y'all later, you know? But what are you doing? Tell me. You haven't seen Woody or Bullseye, have you? Correction, fetal lice. Second, Woody's right over there. Yeah, with Forky. Anyways, what else you got to say for us? Knock, knock. Who's there? Woody. Woody who? Would he like to come out and play? <laughs> Alright, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Piston Cup Productions signing out. See you later.